Tap your sticks to the left. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the right. One, two, three. Tap your sticks down low. One, two, three. Tap your sticks up high. One, two, three. Now freeze. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to episode five of Jam and Randy TV. Hope you're having fun watching all the different episodes of Jam and Randy TV and learning how to make some different instruments and play some different things in music. Today we're going to do rhythm sticks. And uh, if you've never used rhythm sticks, they're kind of fun to use. You can make up rhythms, you can keep a steady beat. They're lots of fun to do. So we're going to learn how to make some today. Uh, the easiest way to make your own rhythm sticks is um, I went to a store and they already had some of these dowel rods like this. And they, they already come in a package of about eight of them. So you have about four sets of them together. And so you don't have to really do much of anything. Uh, all you have to do is buy them and then you can have rhythm sticks like that. So you really don't have to do a whole lot to make those. I'm going to show you some ways to make them sound a little bit different and different ways to use them. Or if you don't have a store that has some like that, a lot of times you go to the hardware store and they have what they call a dowel rod like this and it's really long and it's kind of long for a rhythm stick. So what I do is I go in and mark it and I make them about the length of what these are about eight or nine inches and then I cut those with a little saw I cut those to the right size and you might need your parents help or permission to do this um, but you're I'm sure one of your parents could help you um, cut these to the right size and then sometimes when you saw them you have like a little rough edge on them and you just take a little piece of sandpaper and sand them down and then you can make um, you know a few sets of, um, of rhythm sticks out of one of these dowel rods and then you can jam along with it and have lots of fun now one of the things I like to do is, is uh, you can keep them just like this or what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of duct tape on them. So I have some red duct tape we're going to use today and I'm going to cut these to, uh, out, out just a little bit and we're going to wrap these around the wood sticks to make them um, a little bit easier on your hands and uh, plus they'll sound pretty cool like this too. So what I do is I just put a little bit around there and, and I wrap it around a couple times like that just to make it a little uh, stronger and a little bit more comfortable on my hands. Alright, welcome back boys and girls. I, I, I put the duct tape around my uh, rhythm sticks and they're all ready to go. Don't they look kind of cool all red like this? Like I said, you can find all kinds of duct tape, different colors and stuff at the store and you can put these around there. It does a couple things. One, it's more comfortable in my hands when I use them for a while. They, they, they feel better in my hands because the duct tape kind of coats the rhythm of the wood sticks. And the other thing is that if the wood sticks kind of get a little sliver into them, in them sometimes, they get in your hand. This way when you cover with duct tape, there's no way that's going to happen. So let's see if there's any difference in sound. Here's what they sound like. And when you play them, you just play them together like that. They sound pretty good. Let's hear if they sound any different without the duct tape. So here's a set that I have without duct tape. Really don't sound any different. It's just like the duct tape just kind of makes it more comfortable in your hands and keeps wood slivers from getting in your hand too. So I'd recommend using a little bit of duct tape, but if you don't have duct tape, you don't have to. Now, a couple different things you can do with uh, rhythm sticks. You can keep a steady beat with them like this. Everybody keep a steady beat with me. So that's called a steady beat. You can also do rhythm with them. That's why they call them rhythm sticks, because you can do all kinds of rhythms. Let's do a rhythm like this. Can you do that with me? One more time. Awesome. You guys are so good. Now, we're going to do a song that I wrote called Rhythm Stick Rock. I really enjoy doing this song. It's lots of fun. And if you made some rhythm sticks, you can use your rhythm sticks along with me. If you didn't make a rhythm stick, you can use your hands and just clap along. My friend in the video, he just claps his hands because he doesn't have any rhythm sticks. But if you have your rhythm sticks that you made today or that you purchased, you can use these uh, rhythm sticks with the song. So everybody ready? We're going to do the rhythm stick rock. Tap your sticks to the left. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the right. One, two, three. Tap your sticks down low. One, two, three. Tap your sticks up high. One, two, three. Now 
freeze. Do the rhythm stick rock. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Hop three times. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Rest three beats. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Spin around. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Now freeze. Rub your sticks to the left. One, two, three. Rub your sticks to the right. One, two, three. Rub your sticks down low. One, two, three. Rub your sticks up high. One, two, three. Now freeze. Do the rhythm stick rock. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Hop three times. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Rest three beats. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Spin around. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Now freeze. Tap your sticks softly. One, two. Tap your sticks loudly. One, two, three. Tap your sticks behind your back. One, two, three. Pass your sticks around your body. One, two, three. Now freeze. Do the rhythm stick rock. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Hop three times. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Rest three beats. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Spin around. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Now freeze. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Hop three times. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Rest three beats. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Stop. Spin around. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the beat. Rhythm stick rock. Rhythm stick rock. Now freeze. All right, boys and girls, I hope you had a good time playing along on Rhythm Stick Rock. Rhythm sticks can be a lot of fun, and you can play these rhythm sticks with any song that you hear on your radio that's your favorite song. Um, you can keep beats that are slow, you can keep beats that are fast, you can play rhythms. Have lots of fun with the rhythm sticks, and remember, don't play them on the furniture at home. Just play your rhythm sticks together like that, and your mom and dad will think that's awesome. Thanks again for joining us on our episode of learning how to make rhythm sticks today. Come back and you can do some more jamming with Randy's Music Jam and Jamming Randy TV. Keep on a jamming. Tap your sticks to the left. One, two, three. Tap your sticks to the right. One, two, three. Tap your sticks down low. One, two, three. Tap your sticks up high. One, two, three. Now freeze.